we're gonna do a live giveaway drawing. So if you've seen the video on this upgraded Benchmade bug out and the new coating, then you're gonna hopefully already have your comment in and we're gonna go live. So figured we'd do a live drawing, see who jumps in there. Hope everybody's doing good. Happy Saturday. What's up, Mikey Rast? What's happening? Member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thanks for being here. What's up, I Love Knives? Passion, Bama fan. Mark Grant, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thanks for being here. David Iverson, Form D Productions. Aloha from Honolulu, nice. What's up, C. Lemansky? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew with Form D and Mark Grant. Z Mans, what's happening? Denny, Deadpool, Jesse B, Top Dog. Mark Grant, what's up, buddy? Joshua Wilson, what's happening? Marcos, Bees Blades, David Iverson, Chipper2733. What's up, Anthony Field? Well, hopefully, Peter M., what's up from Norway? What's up, buddy? Tom, D.E., Paul Windmiller. Yeah, so last chance really quick. If you saw this, this video posted about a week or so ago, on the new Benchmade bug out coating for the 535 GRY-1. There was a giveaway in that one. So if you look in the comments, that's where it's at. Go see what you need to put in there real quick. We're gonna do the drawing here in just a couple minutes. What's up, Ed? How you doing? What's up, Alfredo? What's up, Donkey Dave? Dono, what's up, Dono? Marco Polo, what's happening? So yeah, so those of you who are here, hit the like button. Go over and check that out real quick. I know a lot of you uh, entered, so that's cool. What's up, Blade Edge? Addicted to Blades 2? What's happening? Let me pull up the video and see how many comments there are real quick. I think we had... Let's see, there's 1,600 views. 233 comments. A lot of them were responses as well. So, pretty good odds overall if you got, out, if you got in on it. So... We'll go ahead and see, let's see here. K20 EP1, what's up? Yeah, so pretty cool overall. Just a quick overview of what happened on this is uh, Benchmade went with their, kind of their gray Cerakote upgrade instead of the chromium nitride like the top one. So the top one was the original GRY-1. Now they've upgraded this one moving forward. So all the new models moving forward will have this. What's up, Ryan? instead of the chromium nitride. So big difference on that one for sure. And you guys know me, I went ahead, I bought an extra one as a giveaway. So I figured it'd be pretty cool. And why not do it live? It was, uh, the due date was noon today. Um, so I figured let's go live right after noon here Pacific. We'll do the live drawing here in just another minute. And we'll go from there. So what's up, Dane? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Tri-State EDC? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Rodney Pearson? Peter M? What's going on? Oh, you're just here to say hi. All right, Dane, right on. Well, have a good day, man. I appreciate you dropping in. All the support for the channel, being a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. That's so awesome, you guys. Some fun stuff coming up, too. I'm putting together more stuff for my 10K giveaway. It's pretty fun, pretty exciting, so... Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the live giveaway here. What's up, Becky Boo? MHX, what's up? Jim Shepard, what's happening? We're going to be doing the live giveaway here. Uh, we're going to do the drawing right here. Basically, you can see the patch wall there going down. But basically, we're going to get the video right here. Um, we're going to go with, we're going to select the, move this off to the side here. We're going to go ahead and select the video itself. This is the one. Um, just so you can see where it's at on there and you can see in the description as well the rules and today's date all that good stuff so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back up to the top we're going to click share we're going to copy the link we're then going to go over to our comment picker we're going to reload that we're going to whoop there we go we're going to go in here, we're going to paste in our link. Link is pasted. 
We're gonna filter duplicate users. Come on, filter. This website doesn't seem to be working too well. I'm gonna have to find a different one. I know once I hit 10K, I can actually use YouTube and do the giveaways from there. So filter, oh, come on. Filter duplicate users, get YouTube comments. Now it's rocking and rolling. What's up, Deadpool? Leaf, what's happening? Oh, thanks. I appreciate the support. What's up, Winchester? Mac the Knife. 152 Snook. Oh, you're on the lake today. Very nice. What's up, Jim Shepard? Yeah, good luck, everyone. We got 236 comments. So we're going to scroll over here. I don't know why this is being weird, but we're going to scroll over here. We're going to start and pick a random winner out of that. So good luck to everybody. And hopefully the person, there were some comments that people didn't put in there what was supposed to be in there. So if you look back at the rules, it basically talks about 18 years old, be subscribed to the channel, like the video, tell me if you have a bug out or not. So that's kind of the rules for the, 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 the giveaway. So if people didn't do that, then, you know, that's where it's at. We'll pick another one. So I just got to do it up. What's up, Talal? So we're going to go ahead and start. It's rolling through. We're going to pick a winner. Addicted to Gravy Bear. I have the original bug out with the titanium nitride finish. I would love to compare the new Cerakote. So Addicted to Gravy Bear, congratulations. You have 72 hours from right now to contact me, zach.edc at gmail.com to claim your new bug out, the new 535 GRY-1. And if 72 hours passes, I will go ahead and redraw another winner off this one. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Yeah, it's a funny name. I like his username. That's pretty cool. Uh, what are you guys carrying today? Just want to check really quick what you guys are carrying today on this awesome Saturday or Sunday where you're at. I'm still, I'm carrying one, but I'm still choosing one. So <laughs> yeah, passion, try gravy, love it, but never bear gravy. So that's cool. That's cool. The mini bug out, Civivi Knox, Ritter Hogue mini, CF Arius, Evo 2.0, the Atom, Kaiser Begletter, Spiderco Tenacious, Lightweight, 533 and Victoria Knox Sportsman, brand new Skaha 2, nice, William. The Wii Upshot, okay, CRKT LCK, boy. Uh, new tablet, there you go, nice. Blade HQ exclusive bug out, 20 CV, nice. Hey, what's up, Becky? Uh, QSP Hawk, the Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon, the freshly delivered Artisan Arkeo. What's up, Joseph? Got the Kershaw Cryo in the pocket today. S45 pair of yen for Andrew Arnold and the Makarta Tinker. What's up, Alcus? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Don C? Off Grid Enforcer XL, Spider Coyo Jumbo, Tech House, Mini Adamus, 535 3, and Auto Adamus. The Auto Freak or the Super Freak for Anthony. Nice. So VV Ortis and CJRB Malaya. S45 VN pair 3, Benchmade 550 with custom scales. Nice. Leatherman T4, Benchmade 580. Got the Lightweight Man X2. Oh, nice. You got a modded mini grip. Oh, by BJ. Nice. Oh, you got it from Monster. That's awesome. That's a good one. Yeah, his mod work is, is off the chain, man. He does some great work. But I got CF Elite. Yeah, Donkey Dave, you're welcome, man. Got the Rough Rider. Nice, Dave. All right, have an awesome day. Benchmade Presidio 2 Auto. Nice. Benchmade 940-2. Right on, Demetrios. The Harry Woodsman. That's cool, you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to check in, do that live giveaway. So that's out there. Got the Sexy Rexy Shaman for you, the Lawn Ranger. Nice. I saw that on your Instagram, man. It's looking good, man. Those handles are beautiful. I need to get a Shaman. I... I had one for a quick minute and I got rid of it. I was kind of silly about it. Same with my uh, smock. I think I need to get another one. I was going to get that, that Blade HQ one, but that went quick. My uh, internet actually, or their website, I should say, went all bonkers. Oh, nice Blade Edge. Yeah, I got some Zach Stuff stickers. Yeah, right on. Yeah, and just so you guys know, we're going to be going live tomorrow, noon Pacific. 
we're gonna have some fun. We got some new stuff to show, um, some cool stuff that just came in. And of course, uh, the video will be posting later today on the Lynch Northwest in without knocking pry bar. That's what the uh, Zach's Daily Carry Crew wanted to see as the next review. So that one's posted up today. Hey, Paul, what's up, buddy? Thanks so much. Thank you for the donation, the super chat, Paul. Definitely do something kind for someone. I appreciate that. I put that to good use, just like on this stuff. You know, you guys were super awesome last month. Uh, the donations and the support from the Zach's Daily Carry Crew were great. So when this one, when I was, you know, in there shopping, they're like, dude, you got to check this one out. And I'm like, all right. Then I'm like, I got to get one to give away to you. I just couldn't resist. So yeah, that's awesome. Oh, really? You have a shaman, but the, the screws on it. Really? Well, that's weird. Oh, you were in training when it dropped. Yeah. And I was at work, but I'm like, Oh, okay. And, and I, I pulled it up. I got logged in. I was able to click on it, and when I went to add to cart, their website crashed. So I'm like, all right, well, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I'm sure I can buy one for like double right now on, on one of the secondary sites, but Passion's got the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Yeah, the new bug out's nice. And I, I tell you what, you know, my carry today, you guys, is, is that bug out. Uh, you'll see it on my Instagram. Go check it out. The Flytanium Scales, Crossfade, they're fantastic. I was bidden and trying to buy the the custom uh, one offset from uh, Death Grips, his Titanium one, but it got into like the the mid upper two hundreds for just the scales, and I'm like, oh, I just can't afford it right now. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bid on another one. <laughs> oh, you grabbed an M41? Yeah, they look nice. That, that's why I was like, dude, M4 uncoated jade and of course the scales you can swap them out i was going to try to get the uh, blue g10 scales and put those on there but try out rubber o-rings oh that's a good idea william for that uh for that shaman oh yeah and that, yeah exactly great man yeah you can always pay double for it <laughs> if you really want it somebody will sell it it's there's always a price to be uh to be had Oh, nice tailspin. You got the plain Jane Sabenza. Oh, those are fantastic built knives. You can't go wrong with them. What's up, Jason? How you doing? Yeah, you know, and that's that's right there in the comments. That's what I love about you guys is everybody's helping everybody out. You know, somebody all the time, people, will, you know, send me stuff and be like, hey, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to go this and, you know, do this and, you know, trying to figure out how to take this apart or trying to do this. What are your thoughts? And I always try to help as much as I can. You know, I've, I've filmed small videos for people and sent it to them or post them on my channel as private and send them the video just to try to help out because I know not everything I do is out there um, and everything I can help with. And if I can, I'll try to do it. And it benefits you guys too, because just kind of a sneak peek, I won't give it all away, but a couple of people were like, Hey, put this knife and this knife next to each other. I want to, I want an idea of what the size comparison is. And I'm like, Oh, okay. What's up, Chad? What's up Ford Nunez? How you doing? And I was like, I was like, Oh yeah. And they're like, yeah, I'm making something for a friend, but I'm also going to make something and send it to you for your 10 K giveaway. And I'm like, Oh man, people are going to go nuts. They're going to love that. So yeah, I don't know. Great, man. I haven't heard on those Demco ones yet. I would check in just a little pro tip. Um, I saw your question, Edward. I'll be right back with that one. Um, check in with Jimmy Slash on YouTube or Instagram. J I M I Slash. He's like, he's the guy that'll that'll have the inside knowledge if he can share it about when those twenty point fives will hit dealers. What's up, Tariq? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> How you doing, uh, Edward? So you said, does Benchmade warranty the carbon fiber scales and the bug out five three three? It depends on what the warranty issue is, Edward. Um, if you're willing to share, I could probably help direct you. Or you can always reach out to their customer service. I would call on the phone instead of email. Emails are really backed up right now. What's up, Co Coach? How you doing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a few minutes back. We did the drawing live. So you can check it out. Uh, the Gravy Bear one, something like that, I think. What's up, Zane? Aloha, amigos. 
Yeah, so that's pretty cool stuff. But yeah, the carbon fiber, you know, when you're looking at, um, you know, carbon fiber from Benchmade, you know, here's carbon fiber on the 940-1. Um, it depends on what your, what your issue is with the carbon fiber. Um, this is one that I carry all the time. Of course, the satin blade, which makes it nice because you can use it all the time and sharpen it. This has the S90V. But it's one of those that will you know, take a lick in and keep on ticking, you know. This is yours for life, as they say, because this one will keep going. You may break a clip or, you know, I know people that fidget with their knives a lot, they'll go through some springs. And depending on how my mail goes today, what's up, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Um, I did purchase some aftermarket springs and access bar. So we may be doing a swap out on some stuff like this one tomorrow. You may see a, you may see a black access bar in there and maybe some barrel spacers. You never know. So I bought some aftermarket products from a seller on Etsy because they came highly recommended from a few of you guys. Um, great service, fast shipping. They should be in my mail today, but if not, then it'll be next week. But either way, I'll share those with you guys because I know it's important. Um, it's not factory, of course. You know, it doesn't follow the the Life Sharp warranty guidelines. But overall, especially people that are out of state, um, out of country, or just can't afford to send their whole knife in, you know, spend, you know, 10, 15 bucks on shipping, you know, this, this is a, a better route. So... Uh, Edward says it's more my fault slipped out of my hand and fell about a foot on the concrete and opened up the layers of the carbon fiber on the corner hit the ground. Uh, just call and ask them, you know, they may, they, they have some really cool things at Benchmade. They don't publish I'm trying to, to think about how I can share this, but they do understand, you know, what's up, Jason Brown. Yo, they, they're knife people too. They all carry knives no matter what. Um, everybody I've seen there carries a knife. Um, some of the, the stuff over the last few years, what's up, George French? How are you, buddy? They've, they've gone through and like even suggested their, their employees, like, you know, different employees carry different knives. And, you know, they did a feature here a couple years ago where they did some videos on Fridays and some other stuff where they would walk around and just go through different areas and be like, what are you carrying today? You know, people carrying different stuff. And so, having people that carry knives and like knives and something happens to a knife like that. What's up, Mad Hatter? Then Edward, I would call them and just say, Hey, I messed up. I dropped this beautiful knife. It got dinged up. Can I replace that scale? They might give you an option to replace that scale. So I don't know pricing. I don't know anything like that. They may just say, send it in and, and we'll call you with a quote. Cause you never know. You never know what's laying around. You know what I mean? So I would say give it a shot. Give them a call. That might work. Uh, Tri-State ADC says, dude, my new mailman is a big knife nut. Always ask me what I got. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's so cool. Uh, Winchester said, ordered the uh, adrenaline thumb studs for the bug out. Adrian's working on matching the color on my rock scale design. Oh, that's awesome, Winchester. Adrian's a, a, a awesome person of the community. I know he's a bit away. <laughs> I know he's, I know he's down under, but that guy is amazing, man. And he sent some stuff up for a giveaway too, uh, some thumb studs and stuff you, you guys are going to enjoy. So what's up? What's up D Clark? But yeah, if you haven't checked it out, definitely visit that adrenaline guy, uh, Adrian's website. Cause it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Harry Woodsman, the customer service is great. Like I said, don't get disappointed in the, in the emails right now because they are backed up on emails, but, oh, you're waiting for the Chavez scapegoat. Nice. Um, call them on the phone when they're open Monday through Friday, because that stuff's terrific. This, this one, I found this one in my collection the other day, back in April, I posted a video on being inducted to this, uh, awesome society. Um, and this is one of them. So I haven't customized mine yet. I haven't reached that next level yet, but Oh, they, they got the emails pretty quick. Yeah, they, uh, Adrian's good at those. Adrian's great on communication. He's fantastic, and he'll try to make it work for you. So, 
Uh, would a Benchmade Autocrat be a good EDC for everyday stuff? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Uh, let me see if I have mine right here. Do I have it right here? It's buried in there somewhere. I mean, it's double-edged. You know, it's an automatic. So as long as you can carry it legally, um, you can do all your everyday cuts with it. You know, I don't see, you know, a lot of people carry, you know, Microtex and other things like that. Um, the out the front knives. And they work great for everyday carry tasks, you know. Uh, a little bit bigger in the pocket than, you know, like a bug out or something. But uh, had your daughter's birthday party today. Oh, nice. Oh, you're building Lego dinosaurs. Right on, right on. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Mike, you want to get some stuff from Adrian. His stuff's worth it, man. His stuff is dialed in. Seriously, like, so... I ordered a set of, just to see what it's like, um, you know, the Spyderco pair of three I have right here, the lightweight. I went with the anodized blue titanium screw set, and it's pretty awesome. And he didn't include this one at the time, and I think now he includes that one now. But that's that's awesome. What's up, Go Lick? How you doing, buddy? But it just adds that pop of color, color you know what I mean? And it's done pretty well. Like, I have to, I have to take some Windex and wipe these down because... The pivot gets a little bit of oil, same with these, but it gives you that pop of color, which is pretty terrific. And and I actually, they want you to put this screw under here, but I flipped it around because this one's always going to be in my pocket. So at least this one, show the show side looks pretty good. So his hardware stuff lasts great. Anodizing's good, and he'll always warranty his stuff too. Uh, I do have some 4As. Yeah, I have the, uh, I like the 4As. I'm actually trying to find a black version a black G10 version of the 4A. What's up, Larry? Yeah, smash the thumbs up button. Yeah, definitely. Um, because the uh, the other 4A I have is a red Micarta version. Very super limited edition. And right now I'm keeping that in my collection. I've only carried it like half a dozen times. Um, and I'm just worried about it because I'm like, man, it's such a beautiful knife. Um, so that's when I haven't broken out of the collection too much. So I was trying to get a black G10 version to, uh, to carry cause those four A's are a good size. So you got a good one there. What's up, Lucas Bacon? Uh, feeling bummed. How you doing everyone? I couldn't snag the tie bug out scales from death grips. I know Lucas, I was doing the same and I'm like, Hey, what's up Kelly O'Neill? But I was like, you know what, Lucas, I was like kind of bummed. Cause the price got up there really quick and I'm like, Oh shoot. And it just got out of my price range for scales only. Uh, I just can't afford that right now, but I'm hoping to order. Um, you guys have seen the death grip scales I have on my other knives, bug outs and stuff and uh griptilians and stuff. So I'm hoping to order a set for the 940. I think that's going to be the next one I custom order. And then I'm going to have them make a backspacer for the bug out one that I have. Cause I have that G10 Micarta version and he makes a Micarta backspacer for it now that matches and it looks sick. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. And just so you guys know, um, our buddy, uh, Nick Shabazz, he's doing a like kind of Q and a live today at 2 PM Pacific. So here in about uh, an hour and a half. So just FYI, in case you want to get on there and ask some questions of old uncle Nick. Oh, Larry, you're getting your haircut. Nice. Oh, you got the knife center one. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, really? They both broke. I, I, I'll tell you this, Larry. I I know that people that use their, their knives a lot, fidget with them a lot, that there was a time span of bug outs. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. We're working towards it. You know, I'm getting the giveaways ready. I'm doing 10 giveaway packages for my 10K. So just be ready for that. Hopefully in the next uh, month or two, we'll get close. I'm going to try to do some, a couple other like, uh, you know, membership runs here with a couple other channels, maybe some giveaways. So keep an eye on my Instagram for that. But yeah, that's one of those things where, you know, I was like, man, for whatever reason, there's that small area of bug outs that their, the springs were weird on them. What's up eggs and ham. Oh, he took today off. Nice. Oh, uh, we're looking at the new version of the GRY dash one bug out with the new Cerakote. Uh, the gray Cerakote just did a live giveaway for that one. 
If the winner does not claim it in 72 hours from when the giveaway went, I'm going to give it away again. So small window. I don't want to go through. And usually what happens, if somebody doesn't claim it on the, on the first round of giveaway, then we do a live stream and I give it away to anybody that's in the live stream. So always make sure to hit that bell icon at the bottom next to the subscribe button. So you get that notification, hopefully, of when I go live. But it should be another fun one tomorrow, too. <coughs> uh, is the autocrat a lot bigger than there? Let me see if I can find my autocrat. Hold on just a second. It's over here uh, in a pile of knives. Hold on here. You've tried to kill the Omega Springs? I know. I've done the same thing, DE. I have a couple knives I carry all the time, uh, including this one, this beautiful blue 940. And I actually thought I broke a, a set of springs on a, on a Mini Freak. I don't know if you guys remember, but the Mini Freak I have here, I thought I broke the springs, but it actually had come loose and the liner got off. And so I was, I was actually kind of bummed because I went live and I'm, I did it on my live and I'm like, that's great. So, all right, let me see if I can find that one real quick because the Autocrat's a good one to get as a where'd it go here got a little bit of stuff going hold on here we're gonna find it i think i found it okay so we got the beautiful new and that's another thing about life sharp right now if you send your knife in for warranty they return it in a blue bag so you get the blue bag instead of the black one i like that so here's your out the front double edged. This is S30V. You got the blue hardware comes stock, the blue button, of course. So that's beautiful. Yeah, the ohm's gonna be a little bit smaller. So here's your comparison on the bug out. We'll put this out of the way up here a little bit. But here's your comparison on these knives right here. They come to your place to, oh, the springs do? <laughs> so I'm just going to line them up like front edge of the blade um, and the handle itself. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at on those. Yeah, what's up, Big Red? A little sneaky live? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're, we, had, we just did the live giveaway here a little bit ago. What's up, Gregory? Yeah, so you guys, just so you know, I posted a video. Yeah, it's it's a smooth OTF. I will say this. Uh, what's up, James? How you doing, buddy? Um, what happened with this one is, yeah, I don't know, Gregory. Um, sometimes credit cards expire. And so if you are a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, just double check the card you have on file. And it, YouTube's pretty good about telling you what's up. So they'll be like, oh, the card's on file. So they pause your subscription. But yeah, either way. Um, you can always, you know, hit the subscribe button, it'll, you know, or join button to the Zach's Daily Carry Crew, and it'll uh, tell you what's happening. But I will say, um, this one went around through our pass around group, and it got it got messed up somehow. I don't know if somebody took it apart and put it back together, or attempted to, but uh, something happened. So I I took it in, took it to Life Sharp. They actually put a whole new liner in it and spring mechanism. And it's fantastic. So I dig this one because the way it comes out of your pocket, you know, you're going to reach in and grab it out of your pocket. This is right handed carry. And you're already on the trigger system. What's up, Blaine Banner? Oh, yeah, getting to 10,000 soon. That's, that's the goal, man. You know, I'm pushing forward. Getting the, uh, you know, 10K going. I'm going to do 10 giveaway packages on my 10K just to give back to you guys. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, Big Red's in the house. Much love for Big Red. What's up, gun guy? Long time listener, first time caller. Well, welcome. Yeah, Kelly, 63 watching, 63 likes. I like it. Yeah, if they made a smaller version of that one, that'd be cool. Because I know they did that with the Infidel. You know, they made the regular Infidel and then a full and then a mini. And then basically the switch was up here. So it's kind of cool that they redesigned this one a little bit and put the switch up here. Kind of a, a crossbred version between the Phaeton and uh, the Infidel, this one is. What's up, Zach? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So 
Yeah, so on the bug up video giveaway, so here's the deal. If it's not claimed in 72 hours from just a few minutes ago, I'm going to give it away on a live stream. So look forward to that. But what I've been doing is, is I've gone through and on my videos, oh, Big Red, thanks, buddy. Let's give a little love for Big Red. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome, Jason. Thanks for subscribing to Blade Banner. He's got the Orion knives going. The Solaris is awesome. And uh, thanks, Big Red. I appreciate that. You're always supporting, always help moderating. Just couldn't do it without you, man. I appreciate your friendship. And uh, prayers out to you, man. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with everybody, but just send you some prayers and some love. But on this, on this bug out video, um, you got to watch those videos because I dropped a giveaway in that video. And I also put it down in the description of the video. So if you're checking that stuff out, just make sure to watch those videos when they pop up. I like to throw in those little kind of hidden secret giveaways uh, for people that are watching the videos and, and uh, responding. So we had a couple hundred people drop some messages. Uh, there was like 233 uh, messages on that one. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, some good odds on it. So what's up, Scott? How you doing? Oh, just got off work. Nice, nice. Yeah, I figured I'd do a little Saturday Live, do this giveaway. Um, I was making some other videos. And of course, those of you just tuned in, the next video posting up today is going to be the Lynch Northwest In Without Knocking uh, pry bar. Might be one of the only pry bars you're going to need. Just saying. You know, I have the 3.0 that I carry every day. And it's fantastic. And you'll see that one as well and compare it up. That's pretty good. What's up, Grateful Panic? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, there's some... Uh... Oh, the Bearded Wonder gave you a heads up. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, there's some good stuff happening with Orion Knives. What's up, G-Marine? Pretty cool stuff overall going on in the knife community. Um, you know, I like where things are heading. You know, our, our, our good friend Dylan Mallory just dropped the forest. Um, it's a limited run production. He's only making 200 of them. So that's a cool one. Um, but yeah, there's some good stuff going on out there. So I know there's some people in the community who need a little help. So, you know, check out, check out grateful panic knife reviews. I I'm bummed out. I kind of missed the, the marathon live stream that he did yesterday. So I literally came home from work after eating dinner and just crashed. I think I woke up on the couch like three hours later four hours later. And I was like, I need to put myself to bed. <laughs> Form D says, anyone pick up the new knife joy PM two exclusive. Oh, I almost did that, but it just didn't have the right color scales for me. Oh, junior Miz says just got the 2.5 all access pass and it's smaller than the 1.5. I thought they were the same size, but came a little smaller. No big deal. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. What's up Chicago 23. Yeah. We're, we just, uh, you know, today was the day for my giveaway at noon Pacific. So he's doing another one today. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We'll have to tune into that one as well. I know Big Red ADC is doing Saturday Night Live tonight, 10 p.m. Pacific. So make sure to tune into that over on his channel. Big Red, feel free to drop a link to your channel over there as well. So good stuff going on, man. You know, there'll be some stuff coming up tonight, some stuff coming up tomorrow. We'll share some links and things like that. What's up, Jordan C? But yeah, those of you who just jumped in, what are you carrying today? Mine's going to be on my Instagram, but you guys probably know what it is. It's going to be a, a beautiful uh, bug out with some titanium, flytanium scales. I just can't get that one out of the pocket, man. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I, I do that too, man. I, I leave my, I have to like save my codes, you know, I have to save all those passwords and stuff. Yeah, Jason. So the winner has been selected, but, uh, because the due date, the due date and time was today at 12 Pacific. So I jumped on live right after that. And basically from there, um, if it's not claimed in 72 hours, then I'm going to give it away on a live stream. So that's going to put it at what, Tuesday? So probably Tuesday when I get off work, I'll do a live stream if it's not done. So what's up, Shad? What's up, Rusty Knife Letter Lover? How you doing? 
Kloss, what's happening? Newfoundland EDC, what's up? Austin, what's happening? Got the GEC 97, nice. Lucas got the GVP Magnus Slip Joint, the Benchmade Proper, Real Steel Hawk. Oh, the Hawk Bill Fixed Blade, nice. Tech Flashlight, K-Bar Space Folder, nice. Oh, Gun Guy, thank you so much. Let's show, show some love for Gun Guy. Thank you for the banana peel uh, and, and the Super Chat donation. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Menace with a knife. Doug, what's up, Doug? Ruben, what's happening? Gray Man's carrying the Spyderco Advocate today. Rusty's got the Spyderco Pair 3 Max Mint Shaman. Victorinox Pioneer X. Jason Brown's got the Camo PM2. OD Green i3 TEOS and a Machine Era Markup Brass Pen and a Tail of Nice Slip Trio Slip. Slim Trio Slip. All right, Gregory. I appreciate it, man. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Definitely. What's up, Napster Ninja? Jerron, what's happening? Let me reach over. Quiet Carry. Nice. The Eddie 20 CV. Nice. What's up, Florida Beagle? Foxhound. Yo, yo. Breaking in my first 940. I'm so hooked on this knife. I love the 940s, man. I'm, I'm happy you enjoy them. I know not everybody likes them, but man, they're beautiful. Yeah, it's your 3.45 a.m. carry for Tariq. <laughs> That's awesome, man. MBK EWC Marble Carbon Fiber for D-Legal. That's a great one. What's up, Joe Gonzalez? What's up, Perp Haze? What's going down? Perp Haze. Perp Haze. Perp Haze. I was doing the PH as an F, but it's, I think it's a Perp Haze. I got you on that one now. Manuel, what's happening? Oh, Form D, DSKFS, do something kind for someone. Let's show a little love for Form D. Give him a little shout out. 940 is your main carry. Right on, right on. That's cool. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Eggs got the TS301 today. Old Light Warrior Mini 2, Hinder XM18, 3.5, and a Civivi Fracture. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, so Big Red put the link to his channel up there. Don't forget to check out his channel tonight. Uh, we're going to do the SKL. I'll be there for sure. We'll be doing that one. I, You know, D. Clark, I like the 535-3 with the carbon fiber scales. That's beautiful. Um, that's one of those that you just can't go wrong with, you know. It, it gets rid of that, that problem that people talked about or like a long time ago. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, Jason Brown. What's up, man? Thanks for the donation. Have a few of my dollars. Everybody check out Grateful Panic, Libertarian, and Monster Racing 38's GoFundMes. DSKFS. Yeah, definitely. Supporting for the community, man, for sure. We'll be doing some of that, no doubt. So when you look at the carbon fiber, I did a video on this one um, that basically talks about will it flex. So if you want to see a video, I know it's a, like you know a year or so old, but I broke down kind of the G10, the carbon fiber, um, and titanium, and then the, the FRN, GRN, whatever you want to call it, the plastic. Because basically you can see here, see how that flexes a little bit? People were worried about that, you know? And that's, yeah, the Ranger Green's awesome. And people were just really concerned, really worried about it. So I did a Will It Flex, and I compared a lot of them. The Flex to me is no big deal whatsoever. Um, it had no impact on anything that was happening. Um, I've used them a whole bunch. Um, I did a whole video on what it takes to break the bug out using a G or a blue one in GRN, GFN, FRN, and it withheld everything. Got a little chip on the scale from dropping it from uh, two stories up. But, you know, they, they upgraded this to the G10. And, of course, there's no flex on these G10 ones whatsoever. So as much as you want to press down on it, the G10 gets rid of it. The carbon fiber gets rid of it. There's no there's no flex at all. Winchester says, my, bi my biceps flex all the time. Nothing wrong here. Yeah, sometimes flex is good, you know. You got to show off a little flex every once in a while. Yeah, the Dash 3 is very classy. And that's the thing. Like, it takes a bug out to that next level of classiness, you know. Kind of like what they did with the 940, you know. You, you put carbon fiber on it, and it's like, man, I could church carry that. You know, I could take that to the wedding, you know, or your job interview or something. 
Uh, Eggs and Ham says, Zach, you run low on stickers. Just sent out a bunch of stuff today for giveaways. Let me know if you need. Oh, yeah, man. If you want to send some out, I'll put a, I'll put some in my 10K giveaway for sure. Definitely. Get some rest, Tariq. I appreciate you jumping in. Just went to REI to hold the bug out for the first time, and I was so surprised how light it was. They didn't have the green, though, so I didn't pick, it, pick one up. Yeah. In REI, just a plug... They have that. They have that cool limited edition uh, 940 as well from 2017. Still there. When's the next coupon release? I know, right? We're waiting for that one for sure. They always do their twenty dollars off or whatever. Those are great. Andrew O'Loughlin says Dairy, daily carry little native S90V in the fifth pocket and a bug out S90V for the shirt pocket. I was on the fence for the bug out, but purchased it after Zach told me to buy it in a slicey dicey live stream. They're terrific. And that's the thing you right now, you can customize your own on their website, but they have so many options out with so many people. You know, I had to make this blue one, this blue and black one, because it's me, you know, but you can put in now with the options that are out there, you can, you can do titanium scales. Take care Becky. I appreciate you being here. You can do the ones from SMKW, you know, they got three options from SMKW on their website right now. They, these are all G10. You have gray, you have black, and you have that like flat dark earth combo. There's so many options that are out there. And then I think uh, Blade HQ is running a special right now. Yeah, the blue scales are nice. I, you know, I, I still got to, I still got to get my 940 going. I talked about it uh, right at the beginning. I did order an access bar that will fit this 940. You may see a little bit of that action tomorrow on my live stream. We may be swapping out some of those, but that's good. Uh, Josh Cutlip says, what's going on, guys? I'm new to the knife world, but already in deep. I've been checking out the bug out, debating if it's right for me. Well, Josh, if I will tell you this. Yeah, they just dropped that smock, man. It was gone in like minutes. Uh, no. So Daniel, that's the only one I have not ordered. I am not a huge fan of the orange blade. I just couldn't take myself to buy it. Uh, Smoky mountain came out with all theirs right in the same area. So I just went ahead and did it. So I haven't, that's the only one I haven't got, but oh my gosh. <laughs> JT's knife life, life is here. What's up JT? <laughs> Fun fact. Zach has enough bug outs to fully arm an octopus family of five. Man, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Oh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yes, I do have a few bug outs. I, and it was funny because somebody asked me about how many bug outs I have the other day. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, let's add up all the ones that are stock. Let's add up all the ones that I've customized. And let's add up the minis. And I want to say it's like at least 40. So there'll be a Benchmade bug out video coming out on my bug out collection uh, very soon. So you have a ProTech Les George SBR coming to the mail. Oh, nice for sale. So you're going to sell one, huh? Is it a, so I have an SBR, I have a black one. And I also have the gray one, the exclusive from SMKW. I'm still trying to find the blue knurled handle with the stonewash blade. So if you guys ever see one of those, man, I'm checking on one of those, but, uh, you put the washer in backwards on a bug out while installing and flight TNM raindrop crumb fiber scales. Washers are only flat on one side and will ruin the action. Sometimes that happens. And I've also known people that when they take their bug outs apart, Oh, the two tone. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right, George. Thanks for being here, man. The bass are hitting. Yeah, you got to catch them, man. Good luck. Get the big ones. But yeah, so I have the uh, Titanium 945 right here with me. Um, that one's here right now. This is the one that I built with the uh, beautiful Rogue Bladeworks Titanium Scales. They have some really cool milling on them. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Grateful Panic says, Zach Man has more bug outs than Casey has hairs. Oh, man, Casey's not even here to defend himself, huh? We'll, we'll pass on the info to him, though. So, Daniel Barry the fourth says, what's your rarest bench made? So, I would probably say something between 
uh, some of the gold class ones I have, and probably my first production run of the 940, which is eight of a thousand. Um, so those are probably my rarest ones. I have some other ones that are more valuable, like the International 940 that came out. I think that one's, you know, valued at like 1200 bucks right now or something. Um, do I think it's worth that much? Sure. If somebody wants to buy it, why not? Um, you know, those are anodized aluminum handles with damascus steel blade. I think the value comes in that it's, it was only sold overseas. It was made here in, in Oregon in the USA and shipped out internationally and only sold outside the country. So they were a very limited run as well. Joe says, trying to get my first fixed blade. Any suggestions? How big, Joe? How big of a fixed blade are you looking? There's some great fixed blades out there. Um, you know, you can go as wild and crazy as you want. You know, as getting like a, a, a fixed Adamus. Or you can go, you can go, you know, get into the market pretty easily. There's some awesome, yeah, Shrade has a good one. Yeah, JT says that first production might be out of a thousand, but they're impossible to find. Ultra rare. And that's the thing. Yeah, those those 940s, the first productions, they're gone. I don't even see them come up for sale anywhere. So um yeah, Bradford baby's good. SE has some good ones. Probably the smaller size ones. The hand your hands are tiny. Okay. So that's a good idea. So a smaller bladed or a smaller handled bladed fixed blade. Yeah, SE has a really big range of fixed blades. Uh, Moras are a great value, as James says. You're looking at, you know, what, $15 to $40 for the Moras. Um, and you can really try out and see which ones you like the best. Yeah, Civivi just came out with a fixed Elementum. JT says Benchmade Hidden Canyon Hunter is a great little fixed blade, which I actually... I still have that one here. I think I have that one right here. Oh, where'd it go? Well, I'll try to find that one. But, you know, Pearson Custom Knives, you know, Rodney Pearson was on here, but Pearson Custom Knives, this is a really small one. I have a large glove size hand, so I can get about three and a half fingers on this one. Jimping's in the perfect spot. You know, this is a custom knife that he made early on. Some beautiful purple G10 and black kind of swirled scales. Um, there's so many options out there, but I would just look and see some of those. You know, Tops, SE, uh, some of the actual manufactured ones, that's where your price is going to be great budget-wise too. So you might be able to even get, you know, two or three of them and stay under $100 and try them all out. So, yeah, the little Chief James, yeah. I have, I have the bigger version as well, but he makes some beautiful knives. And this one's a great one to just carry. It's got the, the Scout Carry, you know, Kydex on it. So you can kind of carry that in any position. It just tucks in nicely with the belt. Great for a fixed blade. Might not do all your cam.